Alright, so this is a follow-up video on the uh, KM5000 um, 3-axis uh, gimbal stabilizer. Um, and this video is primarily showing you uh, how to go about balancing your camera on this. Now, this is only my second time using this. Uh, I'm not experienced at all, but I did notice that if I could balance my camera better, I'd get better results uh, from this because the stabilizer is not fighting the, uh, uh, the imbalance uh, for my camera. So I figured out a better way to go about balancing my GH3 camera. So uh, I'm going to take you through those steps right now and show you what I've done. Alright, so these, uh, this stabilizer here, um, there's three adjustments that are made to balance your camera. Uh, the first one is against this motor here. This will allow you to move this left and right in case your camera is uh, heavier on the left or right side. Um, there's an adjustment here that raises the camera up and down. That's actually the confusing one if you haven't balanced something like this before. And I'll show you how um, I got a better balance. Uh, I'll show you a way on how I got a better balance out of my camera. Um, and then the third adjustment is when you mount your camera here, you can mount it either uh, forward or backwards and um, you know so your camera doesn't tilt up or tilt down. So we'll go through the steps. The first thing that um, I do is I loosen up these bolts back here. I loosen up these bolts just enough so I could slide this, uh, this bracket left or right. So we're just going to throw the camera on here. It doesn't really matter where we throw the camera. So at this point it doesn't matter uh, you know, how you mount the camera on here. We're just concerned about you know whether it's falling left or right, and as you can see, it's falling over to uh, my left here. So I'm going to slide the bracket. Until I can get it fairly even, so it doesn't fall either left or right. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do is take this camera off right now. Just so I can get back to these bolts and tighten them up properly. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to try to balance the camera uh, on the stage and prevent it from tilting forward or back. So, if the camera is mounted too far back, you can see it's going to just tilt upwards. And if the camera is mounted too far forward, it will tilt down. So we want to find a place where the camera is, is level and it's balanced. So that actually doesn't look too bad, so I'm going to tighten it up right here. Alright, so now that I have the camera level uh, on this platform where it's not tilting forward or tilting back, and I've made the adjustment on the back axis here, shifting the plate left and right so it doesn't tilt either to the left or to the right. Um, the next one is this third axis here and I need to balance the, the camera uh, by raising it or lowering it, trying to get the center of balance on that axis. So it's a little confusing when you first look at it, but the way I do it is you tilt this 180 degrees. Now if this camera was balanced properly against this axis, it wouldn't be heavy on this side of the motor or, or on that side of the motor. So as you can see, if I just let this go, it drops down this way. So that means that there's more weight on this side of the motor. If I had it positioned this way and the camera stayed in this position, then there wouldn't be any more weight on this side or on the opposite side. It would actually be centered. So that's the key is to turn this 180 degrees, move the camera either um, up or down the bracket until you can get this camera to stay in um, one of its positions. So if I tilted it this way it would stay or if I tilted it this way it would stay. So we'll go through the steps right now. What I need to do is loosen the bolts on the side here and then play with the adjustment until I can get the camera to sit just like this.
Alright, so with the camera flat on its back, uh, I balanced this bracket right here. So there's not too much weight on the, the bottom part here that will make it swing down. And there isn't enough weight on top to let it fall forward. So it kind of holds its place here. You, you see that? See, so it's actually balanced along this bracket now. So now that the camera is basically, uh, there's, there's not too much weight on any point here. I have it balanced in the center. The gimbal is going to have a, an easier time keeping it stabilized once I turn it on. So let me power this on here. And you'll see that the gimbal will just level itself out now. And at this point in time, um, as I move around, uh, the gimbal is not going to have to fight all the imbalance that's happening here. So that's kind of how I go through the setup process on balancing this three axis gimbal here. And I've noticed uh, a huge improvement in the way this uh, product reacts or can, can basically stabilize uh, the footage. So. Um, I'll have more of that soon, but uh, really this was just my second time using this product and I think I'm kind of getting the hang of it and my results are getting better. Uh, so there'll be more stuff out there on the blog at CheesyCam.com.